Tobias Troll's Pedersen is a weapon. It's not his first time in the Arm War Super Series. He's cut his teeth over six rounds before, and he's shown his pedigree in battles and left his opponent battered and bloody. I like hurting people's arms, and I like just feeling that aggressive nature that I don't get in my day-to-day -day life. I, I, I love it. Yeah. Super explosive, fast, aggressive. I can't help it when I'm stepping up to the arm wrestling table like I'm a different beast, man. I want to kill people when I'm there. Tobias Trolls Pedersen came to kill. This guy didn't come to the Iron House to play games, and he's about to be unleashed on Coach Ray. I like that. I have no problem with that. Uh-huh. We soon find out. Arm Wars has returned. And for everybody who's viewed the shows that we've been putting out recently, you will know that we've got a few little favourites. When I say little favourites, they don't come littler. Or more favourite than Roly Ray Lipinch, the Latvian superstar who had to choose between arm wrestling and a longer paper round. Left arm, that's a super exciting match, like everyone in the arm wrestling community knows uh, Coach Ray, so if I can beat that guy, it means a lot. Like, it's a tough match to call, but I think I can pull it off, yeah. I trained very hard for this one. Ray looks like he's got a very solid hand. Looks like he has a couple different options. He's, he's like, built like a pit bull. He's, I thought he was at least 200 pounds. Apparently he's 187-ish or whatever you guys call it in kilos, I don't know. Trolls Pedersen is looking to unleash terror and just blast Ray straight to the pad in a violent, aggressive manner. So my plan is to top roll, but I will fake a press. Are you both happy there? Yep. Sorry, sorry. So it wasn't a false start for me. I'm faking the jumping the gun. I want him just to think that I'm gonna go that route. He gets engaged, he kind of catches me there. And now he's expecting a press from me. I want to stay relaxed and not pull him until they say go and I will do my perfect move and get him to the pad as quickly as possible with least amount of work possible. That's the way for me to win this match. Setting up these guys was really easy when it comes to length of arms, size of hands. Okay guys, elbows to the back of the pads for me. Elbows. These guys are like a mirror of each other. As we're gripping up, uh, I know exactly what he wants to do. He wants to pull in, press me to the side really fast. You can position it with the other hands, guys. In arm wrestling, if your opponent knows where, where you're going, it's one of the worst things, because they can prepare for that. So I'm intentionally trying to mess with his mind. I'm trying to show him that I'm going to go completely different route. So he expects me to go there so I can surprise him in a different way. So in the strap, I'm setting up for my top roll. Now he knows what I'm going to do. I can feel it more. Way more, way more. But he is protecting everything really good. Kind of weird, but... Could we redo the strap a bit here? I yeah, feel sure. like it climbs a bit high. Yeah, no problem. Get it and go on. So my whole plan for this match is I want to go to, to, to strap every fucking match because I'm a strap puller. And when I'm in the strap, I want to pull him flat-handed. I don't want to go deep, I don't want to go out. I want to close my wrist in and drag him straight to the pad sideways, quick. 
Show me. Show this. Oh no. Here we go. Strap my tree. My glass. Chill the elbow. Man. The glass. Trolls. Pedersen. Oh, Three life beams of Latvia. Ready to go. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Oh, with the win! Pedersen with the win! He, he's trying to top roll me right off the go and, and that's just a pleasure for me. I feel he's, he's coming through my hand and I feel rock solid. But I'm not fighting in until the, the, the ref says go. And when he says go, I just fire so fucking hard sideways and I feel good and he goes straight to the pad. Ref says ready go and he just buries me. Ray Lipinge feels that first hit to his absolute fiber. I, I, I don't want to go where I should be going. <sighs> There's something special about getting to that aggressive mental state. Like it's precious. You really feel alive. And there's a lot on risk when you go aggressive. If you, if you lose, like you really lose bad because you're going to look bad as hell. You're going to look like a fool. And, and, and I love that investment and that risk. I came in for a war, but it looks like it might be a slaughter. And I'm on the receiving end. Blisteringly fast, aggressive hit from Tobias. Tobias trolls Pedersen. Even went super slow, man. Hey, yeah. Yeah. yeah, a lot. Okay. Perfect execution. Danish arm wrestling has progressed a great deal in recent years, and some really talented pullers are coming out of Denmark. That's been assisted by an influx of supreme technical capability in the form of Mindegas Terasetis. I really thought that my top role would be enough for him. But being here in this uh, Iron House, talking with uh, Mindaugo Starasitis, who is Tobias' training partner, he said like, yeah, I cannot top roll. And Mindaugo has one of the best top rolls on the planet. You cannot climb higher in 70, 75 kilo division than Mindaugo Starasitis. And I'm so, damn, I'm fucked. Here we go. Yep. Rolling rail eye nearest myself to find it. into the strap. Better. Let me go. You feel safe inside, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm coming out of my uh, corner, man. Mindaugas is telling me, calm down, calm down. You have to make this precision and accurate. You have to beat him on that go and not anywhere else. Not in the setup on the go. You have to smash him straight to the pad. So I'm thinking about my breathing. I'm thinking about not loading up with him. You can hold it into position where you want it, guys. Yeah, I just want to finish very quick. Round two, my strategy doesn't change. Uh, no more fakes. No more faking anything. Uh, it doesn't make any sense. What can I do different than I did previous round? I'm trying to put more pressure on his hand, put more pressure on his arm. So I'm trying to fill everything up, tighten up, get my pronator engaged, attack his palm. <laughs> no, okay. Okay, Blistering speed from Tobias Strauss Pedersen. Can Ray get the brakes on here? Looking at the referee waiting for that massive time. What can very, very loose. Super loose. Ref says go, smashing again, super fast and easy. <laughs> I hear ready go, boom, he's all over my hand, pulls me to the side, there's pretty much nothing I can do. He does slow Tobias down, but Tobias still more powerful. He is running over a very established, very dangerous opponent. 
in Ray Lightbridge. He's preventing Ray from getting anywhere near his spot. The way he grips, my thumb is getting so pumped that I cannot even pull it down. It feels so weird because I'm, I'm so used to doing it to the other guys and he's doing this to me. I'm in a very uncomfortable position where I really don't want to be. I'm on the receiving end of a press. Denmark with the win. No, it is good, this. No, it is good, this, in Kersh. It's amazing, yeah, but quite good, man. Inside, no worries, I'll give her, right? I'll do it's one more and see how it is. And, uh, don't start to play too early. No, no, I want, I want, to, I want to secure this one. Yeah, yeah let's just secure sure. this one. Let's be ready for the next round. Ray going through the gears, trying to find the point of difference. But all his moves are defensive. They're slow. They're too considered. Ray Lipinch, round number three. What have you got? What from the school of Latvian arm wrestling can save you right now? Lipinch looks a little asleep, needs to click into gear and really get aggressive and attack this. Big drive. Strap him. All right, get in it. At this point of the match, uh, someone without a lot of experience might be thinking, okay, this is game over. I don't think Ray's there yet. I think he's got far too much experience for that. He, he will know that he's got actually some quite good purchase in both of those matches. Neither of them were completely one-sided. And he'll keep trying different techniques. He'll keep trying to apply his power in different ways to see if he can find a chink in this armor. Tighten a bit more? Yeah, sure. All right. Fire up. Do it. Same thing to fire. Don't go that far. Right, right. Okay. Nice and tight, right? Nice and tight. Take the rise if you need it. Ah! There, and it's Tobias with the bid. He goes to three. Trust Pedersen with the win. When you go 3-0 down in a match, the walls start to close in, the place starts to go dark, and you'll start to ask yourself some very, very serious questions. It's a rare breed of arm wrestler that can turn the tide when they go 3-0 down. Ray Lipinch is exactly that guy, but he's shown none of the sparkle, none of the desire. Yeah, and I, I beat him again quickly, nice and easy. Round three in the strap, 3-0. It's gonna to be tough from here. At no point does Ray look comfortable. Ray Lipinch is trying to pick a lock when he needs to realize he's a battering ram. I hear Ray go, I kind of stop him, but he just drags me to the side and finishes me off. I hear from the audience, Use a riser. Going into round four, like he, he's getting the riser on the table. He, he needs something to stand on. He's, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I need to win four in a row. I cannot make any mistakes. Okay, so I got three pins now. I only need one more pin. And the pressure is on me. It's not on him. It pressure is on me. If he wins one, I'm fucked. So if you follow me and you know me, my left hand is famous for a press. I'm press or die guy. But about two, two years ago, uh, late 2020, in the middle of 2020, uh, I got some stupid injury that I just can't get through. And all my pressing power, gone. It, it's not there. I still can do things, I can top roll better, I can get in hooks, but the thing that made me me, it's pretty much gone. 
He really, really wants me not to slip this time and he's going all in from the second we put our hands together. He doesn't care if I load or not, he's putting constant pressure on my arm. He's going all in and I'm trying to, to set up for a slip but I feel like he can contain it. So I actually make the decision to just go for the pad straight away without the strap. Wow, round number four, and for the first time, Ray Lipin shows that little bit of intent. And for the first time, he matched the intensity of Tobias Trolls Pedersen. Can he do this thing? Surely he can't do this. Ready, go. But it's like driving into a fucking wall, like his whole frame is coming at me and I just feel my arms leaving behind and his whole body is laying on my arm and it's three to one and I'm thinking like, oh shit, it's on. Ready, go. And I just blast him through the pad. It's over in a half a second. No pain. I, I make everyone understand what just happened. I'm back. That's what happened. Tobias missed that go. It wasn't that very was particularly fast. I'll just live on him. Go strap should be should be good. But also he is now loading up. He's now going in, so we have to be ready for a small, yeah. small drag initially. Yeah. Small drag. Don't keep it loose. Yes. No. I see that's not We have risks for the block. Yeah. At this point, I don't know if my arm will hold. I still don't want to get inside. I don't want to end up in a hook with him. Uh, if I can press him for next three rounds to win this match, I have to do it. A little bit difficult for me, guys. Yeah. Both happy there. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. 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 First up, he jumps the girl. And you can see Ray now is mentally back in this match. I'm giving up on slipping. I can still go inside with him without strap. It might be harder, but I think I can meet him there and go frame to frame. Right, you're not wrapping your thumb. You're burying your thumb. So all I'm looking for is these knuckles at that point, okay? Center's there, guys. Center's there. Shoulder. Can you give me some uh, You're not wrapping. Yeah, but and so <laughs> as long as it's level, I'm, I won't let him climb. But as long as it's level, so okay, now you're wrapping. He's got to show it. If you're not wrapping, okay. can we take that one off? Yeah, do you want to just wipe the blood uh, off? Sure. It doesn't bother me that much, but let's wipe, <laughs> let's wipe him down. <laughs> but yeah, we made it bloody. We made it bloody. I don't want Adrian to get aroused. Yeah, like guys, let's get it on. Right. Round five, I'm, I'm staking it all. I'm putting my body inside and he's putting his body inside. And we are going frame to frame. Close your hand. You've got to close your hand. You've got to close your hand. Are you ready? Stay tight. Last Secure. Close your hand. Can't start without close hand. You've got to close his fingers. Close. No, 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 that's not set. One more. Hold your hands by I need to execute this flawlessly. He knows exactly what I'm gonna do, and that pain is still back in my head that I cannot do it. I'm still pretty confident that I can actually pull this one off. I didn't try to, to meet him inside without the strap yet. I think I can do it if I if I go straight away for it and stake everything.
things with the win. Wow, it's on now. Three, two, and all of a sudden, he's alive, alive, oh, in the Iron House, and a new spring in the stride of Rowley, Ray Lifeage. Let's try to secure it somehow. Round five's an absolute screamer. Boom, we in. He catches me, he's fast, and he knows what he's doing. He expected me to press, so he pulls me in a hook match. We both going inside, and it stops right in the middle. I don't want to be in a hook match. He drives me over a bit, but I get super tight and I start working on his arm and I'm like, bum, 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 bum. I have no confidence on my elbow. Turns out it holds. I feel good, but his arm stops moving when I do these tracks and yeah, I feel my biceps is starting to blow off. Even though I'm staying tight, I know that he's feeling good inside of his mind and it starts to tick on my arm. and. Yeah. He will not get through. I just wait enough and pull him back to the side and pin him. 3 2. I'm back. Like I said, I want that mug. As we enter the last round, Tobias Trolls Pedersen, the man who had the dream star, is suddenly feeling the pressure. <gasps> Real life pinch is very much present in the rear view mirror and he's making up ground i think in i'm desperate I, I i really i really have to try to get that strap even though i think it's super difficult i can pull hook to hook and strap my, my hook is very different than strap i pull i let track through through the straps it's it's a lot different and a lot more comfortable for me this is my last chance to get the pin He's trying to kind of confuse me, but he's gonna try to top roll, but I know he won't top roll. And if I'm standing like I'm standing for my press, you cannot escape from my fingers. So we're gonna end up inside. Either I'm gonna press him to the side, or we are in a hook. Even though I was very successful on round five, I don't wanna be in a hook. With him. Anything can happen in a hook. And if he just grinds enough, he finishes me off and the match is over, it's 4-2. I need that. Fingers closed. Are you ready? ready? Fingers closed. By a Strolls Pedersen, close three pins. Three life pins, two pins. Ready, go. He gets a jump on me. <laughs> Shooting for the hook, and it's a war. Good to see Rowley Ray Lipinch doing what he does best, winning brutal arm wrestling matches in brutal fashion. My elbow hurts really bad. This is why I'm in your top three. Most of the times it's over in four, it's over in five, very rarely it goes to six. Biggest drama queen. We'll go for that seventh round. And I think this is one of the coolest things you can have in Armour's matches. Three, three, let's make some noise for these guys. This is it. The silver bullet round, last match. Who goes through? Andre. A little bit this way from him. Watch the hip. He's coming with you. A little bit this way. Red line here at the Iron House. close. Don't move. Little bit of shoulder out here. Shoulder. Don't move. Don't move. Both of these. Don't move. 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 do any more nerve-wracking for these guys. I will be very disappointed going home, <laughs> knowing that I could have won it. This is almost, this is a rare opportunity. I want that win, I want that match. I want it so fucking bad. And for the first time in the Iron House, we go to the sudden death round. One more 
round. One more shot. It's in the chamber. It's the silver bullet. Open square. All right. Here we go. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Strong and love arm wrestling. Finally, everything is straight. I hear ready go, and I just blast everything I have in that arm, and I pin him, and it's over. My nightmare has come to end. Somehow, I come out victorious. After that third round, I didn't think I could do it. Denmark's Tobias Strolls Pedersen is back in the Arm War Super Series. And what a welcome addition he is. Explosive, venomous, determined, aggressive. This man wants to win as much as anyone in the sport. World of arm wrestling, welcome to my Strolls Pedersen. Ray, you're an amazing puller. You really surprised me. I really thought I, I had this one in my bag, even though I knew you were a gas tank, but you're also strong as fuck and you're relentless. Like, you're a fucking hero, mate. <laughs> Tobias. Dude, you made me... You made me find something in myself that I thought was gone. That I thought would take years for me to develop again. This match will, will forever be one of my favorite matches. You pretty much made me think I, I'm done. I love how much power you put behind your arm and how much how much scrapping I have to do to come out of this hole. I think if you ever want to do the if you ever want to do this again, let's do it again. Arm Wars Iron House. Something very different. In the middle of nowhere. A place a man can easily get lost. But today Ray Lightbridge went on an open exercise of exploration. And what happened? Over the course of a brutal match, Ray Lightbridge found himself. I kind of find myself in these weird matches where I, I think I'm gonna do one thing, but I really have to do the thing that allows me to win, that I can make a comeback. And I, and I can be a contestant in Arm Wars with my left hand. Whoever wants it, I'll be ready. Stay strong and love Arm Wars. <laughs>him like dude like even though you lost you just fucking like I, I'm, I'm I guess I'm gonna be cool you know and you almost beat me almost beat me you know you know but that's what they all do they almost beat me
until they don't. They just woke me up. Yeah, they just woke me up.